Welcome. This is the first of CGBC's Lead Technical Insight videos. In this series, we're focusing on some of the important updates to LEAD included in the November Agenda. The Canada Green Building Council acts as the voice of the green building sector, working with our technical advisory group and steering committee volunteers and industry stakeholders to ensure LEAD reflects the unique needs for the Canadian market. Hi, I'm Colleen Loder, and I manage the technical areas of sites, water, and materials for the CGBC. And in this video, I'll be walking you through a new option for the credit surrounding density and diverse uses in location and transportation category. This is an important credit as about selecting the right location for your project, trying to ensure it does not contribute to unnecessary sprawl, and that it helps to conserve land and protect farmlands. It's about rewarding projects for selecting sites with connected for walkability. The document this credit has proved difficult for project teams. Now using the example here of our Ottawa office, you can see how challenging it can be. First, you have to create a density offset not a radius, reaching out 400 meters from the project boundary. Then you have to map each building in that offset and those crossing the boundary is pictured here, measuring the property area, that's the buildable area of the site, and then determining the floor area of the building on that site. Then you have to repeat it for every building in the density radius to create an overall density. Every lead consultant knows how long this can take, especially if you're surrounded by a multitude of tiny buildings like our office in Ottawa's famous Byward Market. Now, to earn full points for this credit, project teams have also achieved the diverse uses option. For this option, you assess the different types of destinations within a safe, walkable distance, as done on this map. While this is less work than the previous option, it can still be a bit time consuming. The great news is that following a suggestion from our technical advisory group on your behalf, a new third option has been created called walkable location. This can be used in place of both options one and two, and projects can earn all the points from option one or two with this approach. The option uses the third-party alternative tools that exist today in many locations, such as WalkScore. WalkScore is a real estate tool that assigns a score based on the walkability of a location. So just how easy is it to use WalkScore? You can literally get WalkScore with one click. And as you can see, with almost no effort at all, we demonstrate that our Ottawa office is in fact in what they call a walker's paradise with a walk score of 99, which would earn us all the points available for this credit. That concludes this highlight, but here's a list of upcoming videos in our series. We've already released the video for quality views. Not seen it, I encourage you to check it out. We're releasing these videos week by week through the end of January, 2021. You can check out our other videos and CGBC's channel on YouTube. And you can find the updated versions of the rating systems and beta guides on CGC's website. You can also download the rating system with track changes, as well as a summary of changes, both which will give you a clear picture of the updates. For any questions or more information, please contact us at leadcoach at gbcicanada.ca. Thanks for watching.